let's get down to the London Stadium. their last two away games at Spurs they won that they lost at Arsenal on Thursday today is so so big for both teams it could be make or break in their in terms of their quest for European football next season my score prediction is West Ham 2 Wolverhampton 1 plus 1 I just think Wolves will be completely drained after Thursday night stunning show at Arsenal but Let's get in there and let's see who will win the battle of these two sides. We've had very good seasons, but who will come out on top? Here come we go. Wins. Big John is in. Score prediction today. It's going to be two all draw. Loads of goals. Mikel Antonio starts up top for the Irons today at this place. And boy, has he got a point. The there is the Wolves line. Oh no, it's gone now. But uh, Francisco Trincao replaces Raul Jimenez today, who is on the bench for Wolverhampton one alongside Daniel Pedent. Could that hinder Wolves today in a very, very big match actually in the race for Europe? see it from that from this uh, camera angle but Wolves away end is full of inflatable cats I wonder who that's aimed at Lanzini oh free kick oh! just wide that's the only action of the first 25 minutes whatsoever West Ham have a game plan here to tire Wolves out they know they've been playing a lot recently they only just played on Thursday night and that was a tiring one so they've got their way around this but free kick just past the post from Cresswell what an awful awful game of football so far could fall asleep it's a great chance for Mikel Antonio there good, very good save so, from Jose Sarr what, what a keeper he is West Ham dominating so much haven't had many chances have been by far the better team the first goal will come from them I was about to say if there is one oh, over the top by Antonio's back heel half an hour gone still goalless there's a counter attack for Wolves what a tackle what a tackle from the zoo keeper in well definitely not a zoo keeper he is but what a well, what a tackle and you can't hear it but the Wolves fans over there sing to cut Azuma that's how your cat felt Brilliant banter. There we go. Anthony Taylor blows the half time whistle, and I think we're all thankful for that. Terrible, terrible first half. Hardly any. Two up, though. Hard, yeah, say that again, John. Say it. Two up. They have had a couple of chance, half chances. Could argue they could have gone in, but it's goalless at the break. 
and pretty much rightly so Bruno Lager will be very very happy with that because he's got big guns on the bench Jimenez and Podence are waiting to come on and take West Ham by the scruff of the neck and capitalise on West Ham's weakness in defending counter-attacks will that be the case? I'm not so sure the Irons are very much on top but it is goalless at half time massive massive shout out to the steward I met at half time his name was Nilab I think he told me he's seen me at games before big fan of the vlogs what a bloody legend. And just like that, the second half is underway. We need to see some goals. Come on. Oh, just over the top from, I think that was uh, Fabio Silva. Wolves started the second half a lot better than West Ham. And they've still got Jimenez and Podent, the big guns on the bench, telling you now, wait till they come on. They will cause problem after problem after problem. Finally! Finally! Yes! Oh, the breakthrough! And it's Miguel Antonio! At last, West Ham get their goal. Sorry, Meg. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. They're finally MA. Suchek. It's not Antonio. I was wrong. It's Thomas Suchek. The birthday yeah. boy. Let's see that again. Four now to Presswell. Antonio puts it in. And then Presswell. Big time. Suchek taps it home. It's West Ham 1. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers 0. The London Stadium are up. And now for Wolves, here comes the mini magician, Daniel Podence. He is such a threat on the counter-attack. How will West Ham deal with him? Can they stop Wolves from coming back into this game? Oh my goodness. Wolves come a whisker Always away. After we score. A whisker away from scoring straight away, Fabio Silva. Incredible play from Mikel Antonio. Making two. Oh, no. He's just ruined that completely. But Lanzini's in. No. Shoots. Suchek again. It's wide. Brilliant, brilliant build up play from Antonio, though. He went alone. Couldn't provide the finishing touch, though. 20 minutes to go. Put into context how sunny it is today. Look. If I don't, if I don't come with a camera, it's all sun. It's all white. What a beautiful day. Attacking Wolf substitution. Marcel, can't even see. There we go. The left back, Marcel replaced by Pedro Neto, who we know, of course, is dangerous, can cause problems. Will he do so in the remaining quarter of an hour? Bruno Lager sent him on to completely and utterly rip that West Ham defence to shreds. And now Wang comes off, replaced by Okohol, the biggest danger man of them all, number nine, the Mexican maestro, Raul Jimenez. Can he cause West Ham a problem or two? He can. It's just the case of whether he will or not. He's been sent on for the last ten minutes and then probably five or six minutes injury time. Wolf's corner headed away by Zuma. He's been so, so good all day, that Kerr Zuma. But Jimenez is on. For the number nine, Mikel Antonio. He set up the first goal. Hasn't had the best of games, but he's done all right. Replaced by Nikola Vlasic. Three added minutes on at the end of the 90. Will there be a second goal in this game? And if so, who will it go to? And what will it mean for the rest of these side seasons? Surely that's got to be the game now for West Ham. The dying moments of this one. West Ham 
and they leapfrog Arsenal in to fifth on goal difference. It's a very, very disappointing day when the Wolves got over there. But what a result that is for David Moyes and his hammers. So, so big. Is it still on, John? I don't see it. I think top six would be fantastic and a yeah. good little run in Europe. FA Cup, we're still dreaming. Yeah, true. Still fantastic what West Ham are achieving this season at this place over there. As for Wolves, they really did not show up today, just like they didn't show up on Thursday. But it is a massive three point Can't for his boys. Mind. He's delighted. Into fifth now. Is the top four dream still alive? We'll have to wait and see. We're back at King's Cross now. Fun one today, wasn't it, boys? Boy. Always is. Three points. Cheers for watching, guys. We'll see you on Tuesday night. Cheers.